Players Keith Schamberger and Adrian Oliver. We'll start out with an opening comment from the coach, and then we'll take some questions. And just remember to raise your hand if you've got a question. We've got a roving microphone for you. Coach. Well, I was real happy with our composure and our, our discipline throughout the game. You know, obviously we made a bunch of threes, but we're, we're clearly capable of that. We have three guards, can, or four guards who can really shoot the ball and have been able to do that all season, so it's not that surprising. Um, Idaho did what you expect them to do. They just kept fighting, and it was just a heck of a ball game, and Keith made a big play. They got the steal, and that really, really was the, I think, the pivotal play down the stretch. And, you know, clearly Adrian is taking this as a personal thing this week. Um, to, he already plays at an extremely high level, and I think he's bumped his game up a little bit in terms of his total floor game. And uh, we're proud to be moving forward, and we're going to get as ready as we can and give, give Utah State all we can for him. All right, we'll take questions. Remember, if you have a question, just raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you. George, could you talk a little bit about the um, contribution that Justin Graham made today? I mean, he's not up here, but... Yeah, we, we pulled him out early in the second half to have a little chit-chat with him. Sometimes Justin forgets to be aggressive. And sometimes he's too aggressive. So we're just trying to find the zone with Justin. I just said, just the heck with all five and say those terms. Because <laughs> that's the polite version. Just attack the game. Would you go out there and attack and just do what you do, and I think you saw that in the second half. And uh, he, he responds to that. We've been together a long time, and, and he can he can take a little chewing and understand what his job is. And he went out there and made a difference. I think kind of stretch. Uh, two notes. Most wins for a single state team in 1981. Most three point baskets made in the season. When you go, Lawrence, you're always ready, as I like to say. <laughs> right here in front. Yeah. I've got one for all three of you. Uh, you guys have been playing with a lot of confidence the last two days. How do you make sure that that continues playing the top seed in the tournament? Um, just go out there and treat like another game. But we know Utah State's a top dog in this conference as far as record-wise, and that just adds even more juice to us. Um, at this point, we know how to manage our confidence. Um, playing two games or winning two games the first two days, that only helps us. And I feel like we have an advantage, like I said before this, on Utah State because, you know, we're not tired, we're just warmed up. And so Utah State's gonna come in here cold and, you know, we're gonna fight it to the end. Um, I, I would say that sometimes people get overly caught up in records. Records reflect what you've done, but, but it's also, it takes into account injuries and other bumbles and things that happen. We haven't lost our confidence since August. We, we know what we can do. And we believe in ourselves, and that's what confidence is. And there, there's not a person in our locker room that's surprised that we're here. We, we, we know, and we're, I think any team that's a good team, and I think we can consider ourselves a good team, um, is going to be confident in what they can do. Your confidence can't come from your opponent. Oh, we, we think we're better than them, so we're really confident tonight. We think that team's better than us, so we're not going to be confident tonight. We just believe in, in doing what we do and give it everything we have, and we'll live with the result. George, as uh, someone who remembers 1981 and, and before, what does it mean to you personally to have this program heading in this direction and having such a talented person as Adrian and, and Keith as your cornerstones? Well, when I came to San Jose State, things were in, in pretty rough condition and there had been some problems and we don't need to address all those. I think we're rising for the reasons you pointed at. You know, right over here to my left. Uh, every basketball pro program rises and falls on the quality of its players and the quality of its people. Um, I would say that we have outstanding people, too, in our program. And we've just stayed the course. Uh, we believe in ourselves. We believe in our guys. And, and, our, and we've never wavered from that. Um, you, you hit it on the head. You know, Adrian has been carrying, and Justin has been carrying his load, and they're about to hand it to the guy next to him there. And, and hopefully we'll give him even more support uh, because our program's in a different place than when Adrian and Justin joined us. Um, it was a much, much rougher place at that time. Keith's coming in when his freshman year were winning. And so, uh, but he'll, he'll be ready to take, take the mantle and go forward. You saw what Keith Hammer was about today. Uh, Adrian, uh, I know some of those were open looks, but a lot of them weren't. Uh, how difficult uh, was it just to get your shots and, and make hard shots out there? Um, it's not too difficult because I'm used to it. I mean, 
playing that way for the past two years now, people face guarding me and whatnot. And coach, uh, he sets it up in practice to where, you know, one of our players is face guarding me. So once I get an open look, I'm sort of surprised at times. I, I have an open look and that's why, you know, I felt like I missed two open looks today because I was kind of surprised I was so open. But um, with a hand in my face, you know, I kind of just look beyond that and just look at the back of the room, you know, just like my grandfather taught me. And, um, you know, and tonight it, they were just falling down, so. Keith, if you could talk about the steal that you had there at, at the end that kind of sealed it for you guys and just how that play developed. Um, I saw Justin uh, tip the ball and I just saw the ball in the basket. And it was an open court and I went to go get the ball and it was an open layup. Any other questions? Right here in front. Uh, Keith, can you uh, talk about your uh, performance uh, towards the end of the game? Uh, that was kind of key to your key to win. Um, the first half, I started off started off good. And um, I just carried on to the second half, hit open shots, and do whatever my team needed me to do. He's being modest. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the baby in the room. <laughs> Right here, George, uh, Jimmer Fredette's playing down the street this week. He's been getting a lion's share of publicity this year, and deservedly so. But for San Jose State to be on the stage tomorrow night, and for Adrian to have the whole nation get a chance to watch him uh, in prime time. Do you put more pressure on us? No, but I'm just asking. No, I don't. How important is this I don't... For, for you and, and for Adrian to have this opportunity? To show just how talented he is. I think it's a great point. Um, there, Jim, I, I, I have nothing but positive to say about Jim for depth. I mean, it, my goodness, look at the season he's having, and I know Dave, and they're doing a great job there. But that, that's that's part of the, the drill in college sports. Some teams get more attention than others, and some players get more attention than others. It has nothing to do with the quality of the players. It has to do with what people decide to focus upon. Um, I, I've said consistently for the last three years, Adrian Oliver is one of the best players in the country. Now, whether you all believe me or not, it's your business, but I believe it 100%. And I think anybody that matters uh, in terms of his future already has got that figured out. Um, Adrian has grown as a person. He has grown as a player. He's done all the things we've asked. He's handled himself exactly like I want to. We butted heads a few times, but not very often. Um, we work together, and we, we, we had a thing this spring. We said, you know, our futures are tied together, and let's get this done. And that's how much confidence I have in him. Anything else? Right here in front. Go ahead. Yeah, um, this question is for Adrian and Keith. Um, can you talk about what uh, Coach Nissen said? Um, it's about 36 seconds left at uh, timeout and before you guys made all four straight defensive stops. Um, he just basically said the, the more tougher team is going to win this game. And the team that wants more is going to win. You know, the game was so close, they can go either way. And, you know, luckily if you have someone like Justin, who is sort of leading our, our whole school in steals in, in history, he had four steals, and I think three of them went out the end. And just to have someone like him um, jump up and get those steals and for Keith to finish, you know, was great for us. And he just told us, whoever's going to be tougher is going to win, and Justin was tougher. He was tougher than the other guys trying to get the ball.